How do you? My name's Anna. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for being here. Today, we're going to play with this. Like, I don't, I don't quite know what to even say. I, <laughs> like, why did I buy this? Cause Care Bears. So I thought I would try on some of this today. I thought that I would try to sort of use all of the Wet n Wild products that I have. So I'm going to just try all of these things on and, um, and see, see what we think of the Wet n Wild Care Bears 40th, 40th anniversary of Care Bears. That's, um, that makes me feel old. Thanks Care Bears. All right, now I have my, my bear ears on and my face is ready to go. Um, I have moisturizer that I've put on and that is it. And I noticed in here, so let me open this up for you and show you. Oh man. Okay. There's a lot of stuff in there and it's very colorful. Oh, look how cute. It's very cute. Well, I have to admit this does kind of make me very happy. Like it just speaks to, it speaks to little me. It's true. It's true. Well, let's see. I feel like there was some kind of primer situation. Was it this? Brighten your day. Vitamin C primer. Um, okay, and let's see. Oh my gosh, it kind of smells, <laughs> this kind of smells like a margarita. Cause it's like citrusy, but I think there's alcohol in it. <laughs> okay, okay, I need to look this up. Is there alcohol in this? Glycerin, alcohol. Yes, there is. This smells like a margarita to me. Like not a good one though. So a little squeezy tube. Did I put it on my face or on my finger? Oh boy. Okay. Um, ah, okay. All right. <laughs> How much? How much is too much? That might have been too much. I don't I don't know what I'm doing. This actually smells kind of weirdly nice. Like it's refreshing. Um Yeah, I feel like I'm rubbing like um What does this feel like? It's actually got a super nice consistency. It's like a smooth not quite not like a gel but like a viscous liquid. Um, and it dries down a little bit sticky. Yeah, it's funny. I actually kind of like the smell of this, which if you watch my channel, um, I'm pretty sensitive to smells, but this one's like kind of citrusy, which I definitely don't have an issue with. So, all right, well, there's that. And then it came with this cute, oh my goodness, this little sponge. <laughs> Do you see that? It has like a little castle on it. Ugh. It says it changes color. All right, so I guess it turns like blue when it gets warm. And then it goes back to purple when it gets cooler. Well, that's awfully fun. Um, okay, it's really dense. It feels really dense and heavy. It's fun. It's like bouncy. Do I feel like I'm seven right now? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, so the primer still feels like a little bit tacky. I'll shake this up really well because I have not used this in a good while. But this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus in Soft Ivory, which is the warm light. And... For those of you who are sensitive to smell, as I am, this definitely, it smells like paint, um, but it, it dissipates. Like it doesn't have like a fragrance. I think it just smells like the ingredients. 
which smells like paint. I think this sponge smells like chemicals. Yeah, the sponge is like fun and cute, but totally silly for applying makeup because like, how do you get it in these little... <laughs> Okay, that took forever. <laughs> this is adorable and very non-functional. <laughs> it's just too big and like, I don't even know like what part of it to use. It's not very face friendly, I guess. I don't know. It also, I felt like it wasn't blending well at all somehow. I don't know. And it's already got a crack in it. So I don't recommend this, but it's really cute. That's all right. We do, we do things for nostalgia, don't we? All right. And let's see, I have this Mega Glow Contouring Palette. I wonder if this would use for, would, oh, actually, I'm going to put some concealer on real quick. I don't have a, a Wet n Wild concealer, so. All right. Concealer is on. I'm going to see if I can use this as like a face powder. I think probably um, I can because I have a very yellow undertone and this uh, like highlighter is pretty yellow so we'll just do that like under my eyes and then see if I can use the contour okay little would have gone a long way I'm a little a little ham there. It's a very warm contour shade. <laughs> it's fine. Totally fine. I think that might be a better bronzer shade than a contour. And now I'm just irritating my face, so we're just gonna have splotchiness going on. You know what? There's no brow products or anything, but you know what? Maybe we just don't need, need to today. I like my brows. I like them natural sometimes. We're just gonna leave them, just gonna leave them like that. Okay, so I think before I go any further, there's this little Give Me TLC lip set. And let me show you, it's these cute little, like, you know, the five stars for cuteness. The Care Bears are just cute. They just are, they're happy and like, you know, there's a lot about emotions and things in the show and sort of, you know, the different moods and emotions that people have. I don't know. I kind of dig that, especially when it was, um, what am I saying, targeted, you know, towards children who I think sometimes need to be taught how to handle their emotions and, yeah, like, that it's okay to have them. Anyway, well, public service yeah. announcement about the Care Bears. Um, all right, so this is Make It Sweet. Oh, wait. How does this work? But like, I don't, oh, oh, it's like, is that, oh, interesting. Okay, so it smells like a little bit sweet, but not too sweet. No, I mean, it smells sweet. It smells sweet, like, um, like cotton candy kind of or something and, um, and chemicals. But yeah, it smells like being at the fair. Okay, and this is a lip scrub. And I, I think you just literally... Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, it's funny. The smell is not bothering me too much. Interesting. I actually kind of like that. Huh. How very strange. I mean, it's very fun. <laughs> It's very fun. Okay. This one is a lip mask. Um, it's a nighttime thing. And it's blue. And this one is lavender scented. Ooh, that's a little strong. I don't know. That one might be, that one might be a gift for someone. But this one I kind of like. And I don't, I don't know how much of like, it was really a scrub, 
Ooh, I like that it doesn't taste like anything. I actually, I'm not, I don't do sugar. Um, I don't do processed sugar. I don't eat it. Um, and so I don't, I don't want things that taste like sugar or have sugar in them. So this is actually kind of great. I don't know though. It feels a little waxy. Heh, interesting. Okay. Those are cute. I'm going to put an eye primer on real quick. Okay. Eyes are primed. So that brings me to the next thing in this adorable box. And that is this Caring Counts rainbow eyeshadow palette. Um, I am not going to swatch this on camera, but because this video, there's a lot of stuff to get through, but I will put in some arm swatches um, while I talk about what this is. So palette for eye and face, spread love and happiness. This palette features 15 hyperpigmented shades, perfectly curated to each cuddly Care Bear in a mix of buttery soft matte sparkly shimmers, gleaming satins, and self-adhering multidimensional glitters to create beautiful looks infused with positive energy. Okay, and this is cruelty free, and I do not see a vegan, but it is cruelty free. And okay, a couple of them say, so bedtime bear and best friend bear, it's saying are a face pigment. I don't, I don't think these are labeled correctly. I can't figure that out. I don't know. I do not know. Okay. But, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do a, a look with this. I feel like kind of a pink and purple thing just feels appropriate. So I'm, I'm actually, I'm going to try this, this transition shade here. Okay. Actually kind of so far so good. I don't know the last time or if I've ever used, um, wet and wild eyeshadows, but honestly, that is a really nice transition color. Seems to be blending well too. All right, with a smaller brush, I'm going to take this Love A Lot Bear shade. The nostalgia of this is pretty spot on and spectacular. I just, it's nice. It feels, it feels very sweet. I'm actually, I'm surprised and pleased with how well these are working, like how easy they are to work with. Okay, I'm going to take Grumpy Bear right here. Grumpy Bear. I'm gonna tap off. I'm gonna try to make that kind of light. And just put that in the inner corner here. Outer corner, outer corner. That one's reading pretty gray, not very bright. And now this is, this is best friend bear. And this one is what it says is a face pigment, but I don't, I don't understand what that means. Like why is the purple one a face pigment? What? Yeah, I'm confused by that. I'm not, I'm not quite sure what to say about that. But I'm going to take a smaller brush and into this shade. Okay. It is starting to give me kind of a nice rainbow vibe. I'm just going to blend that out a bit. I mean, it's not terrible. I'm actually going to go back into the pink. Okay, there's a bit of a smell to this. It smells like soap to me. Maybe it's like the adhesive that they use, the glitter or something. I don't love it, but it's, it's fairly subtle. Okay, anyways, going to go, like I said, back into that pink and I'm just gonna enhance that a little bit. I feel like the lid, I need to just do shimmer. Why is this one so much less purple than this? What did I do? 
Oh my goodness, that's funny. Well, I'm gonna try to even that out a little bit. What am I doing? All right. So, I mean, probably this blue shade just, you know, like, is that a glitter? That is a glitter. Okay, that's a glitter. So before I use that, I'm gonna put this down. I lied, I'm gonna use this one, this lighter one. Oh, that is very powdery. It's very matte and powdery, but it actually gave me some pigment there. So that's good. Oh, I didn't tell you which bear that was. Although, like I said, I don't know if these are correct. That was Share Bear. That makes sense. It's a little ice cream. Yo, why do these smell like soap? It's weird. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to use this purple, this deeper purple, um, which says it's called Harmony Bear, but like, yeah, okay, maybe. Yeah, that one seems kind of powdery as well. All right, let's play with this glitter now. And this one is called, okay, Bedtime Bear, that makes sense. But like, why is that the face powder? Maybe it's just not supposed to be used around the eyes is why it says that. But like, where would you put it on your face? I mean, I guess you could put it anywhere, but I don't know. All right, we're gonna... Actually, is this gonna gild the lily? Eh, it's fine. It's fine. It's Care Bears. that is sparkly and yeah there's a lot of glitter in that so maybe that's why they're like don't use this around your eyes because they have to say that there is def definitely no depth in this <laughs> like this all looks very pastel to me but it's kind of cute I mean it's certainly a certain thing it's very ethereal looking it's sparkly I think it's kind of fun. Okay, so I'm going to use this right here, which is Carolot Bear, according to this chart. I'm going to highlight my brow bone. And then in the inner corner as well. It's certainly not blinding. It's kind of just a subtle, subtle glow, a little bit of a luminescent touch. Let's see. Now, let's just go into these colors one by one and see how they do. Going to try this orange, which is Fun Shine. I actually don't remember really their names and like which belly um insignas or whatever they had except for cheer bear had the rainbow because i had that one um and i think tender heart had like the two hearts or maybe just one but other than that i don't really remember so much um oh i do actually have a lot of all out like right here I'll try to brush that away a little bit all right and let's just sort of rainbow fi this Um, I guess we'll just go down the line. Yellow, birthday bear. And on down the line, I'm gonna try this lighter one, which is good luck bear. It's a little four leaf clover. And then I'm gonna use the shimmery green since the rest of those were kind of shimmery. And that is Heart Shine, no, Heart Song, Heart Song Bear. Yeah, these smell like soap. And I don't love it. All right, and then back into Grumpy Bear, just for a little tiny touch of blue right in the corner. And actually using that brush made it a lot more intense. 
when I was using the blending brush, it was going on more gray, but that actually looks pretty blue. Let's see what else I have in here. So there actually is, all right, all right. So <laughs> right now is part of our video why I show you why I never curl my lashes. First off, this is the Friendship Goals Mascara and Eyelash Curler. And I actually don't own an eyelash curler, but I've always kind of wanted to show you all why I don't use them. But so <laughs> I'm always talking about how I have such small eyes and like, I really mean that. Like they are very, very small. Um, just, okay, first off, it basically is the entire size of my eye. It's actually bigger than my eye. And my eyes are kind of deep set. I, don't, I can't, I can't actually get it onto my eyelashes here. We're going to try. I'm trying to get closer here. All right. But so, oh, wait. Okay. All right. I think I got them, but I can't get all of them. Only like some of them. <laughs> I don't know if you can see what's going on here, but it's really hard to get in there. Like I can't get the outer ones. See? Anyways, this is why I don't curl my lashes. All right, now let's move on to the face. And I think I am gonna try, actually that doesn't look as bad as it did before, but I'm gonna take some Laura Mercier powder and I am going to take a powder brush and I'm gonna kind of try to like buff that out a little bit around the edges so that it's not quite so intense there which brings me to the face products I'm actually kind of excited about these um I so all right let's I'm getting ahead of myself there's the live laugh hug bronzer right bronzer bronzer and that is gonna be super deep for me but we're gonna try it anyway okay it's a little hard on it I'm gonna use a super like floofy bronzer brush. Like this is from the Sephora collection. I'm gonna be bronzed, y'all. Oh boy. Yeah, this smells like soap too. It smells, okay. It smells like sunscreen. Yeah, this totally smells like sunscreen. Like from the 80s, like 80s sunscreen. Did they do that on purpose because Care Bears? That's weird. That's weird. I don't know, I don't like it. Okay, so I'm gonna try to barely touch my face with this. Warm that a little bit. I mean, yeah, that's a little orange, I think. I mean, clearly it's too deep for my skin tone, but. Do I look like I've been out in the sun? Do I look bronzed? I smell like sunscreen. <laughs> okay, so that was the bronzer. And then there is, I actually really, really like, okay, do what you love. I like this brush, blush shade. I think it's so cute. Look at this blush. I think it's actually so super cute. This one smells like sunscreen too, but I really like this blush color. I hope it's really cute. Oh yes. I actually think this is so cute. I do not like the way it smells. It is pretty subtle though. Ugh, but gross. I'm gonna wanna wash these brushes. <laughs> Let's just kinda amp up the let's pump up the jam <laughs> yes I just said that okay so that was the do what you love blush and these are all sold separately as well I just got this kit because I thought it would be the easiest way to just show you a bunch of this Care Bear stuff there is a highlighter and this is the let your light shine I like that because you should let your light shine Aw, that is really cute. <laughs> Ooh, yep, sunscreen, like copper tone. I mean, it's it's like it reminds me of good times, <laughs> but it smells terrible. 
Um, it's actually pretty subtle. If you're not sensitive to smells, you may not even notice it. Um, I am incredibly sensitive to smells, so of course. I am noticing it, but um, I actually, I have a couple wet and wild brushes and I, they're nice synthetic brushes and they're dirt cheap. Like this was, I don't know, $2, maybe three. Um, yeah, easy to clean from what I remember. I actually have a loose highlighter from wet and wild. That's pretty good. Um, that's actually very pretty and subtle. I don't know if you can see that really on camera or not, but um, it's it's just a little bit, a little bit of a like glow. Oh, this is actually very pretty, subtle, pretty. Yeah, that's very flattering. It's very cute. I like it. Dare I say that is beautiful. That is a really pretty highlighter. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. It just, it's a nice color. It gives you just a nice glow. Look at that. Huh. Well, that's, that's lovely. It smells terrible, but it's really pretty. There's like these glitter gels in here and I'm not sure. I'm not sure where to put these. I guess let's just do this. I'm just going to use this one because they, they are sealed. And so I'll unseal this one. Can you see that? Glorpy. I'm actually kind of impressed because like it kind of reminds me of um, these little glitter pots that I have from ColourPop that smell terrible and a lot like chemicals. And these don't have much of a smell. I just figured that I would kind of Ooh, ooh, Glorpy, Glorpy. <laughs> um, I don't, oh boy. Um, have I made a terrible mistake? Maybe, maybe. But sometimes it's fun to just put glitter, like right here. If you can get it to spread out a bit. Oh boy, I used too much. Well, it goes a long way. I like glitter. All right, so that is a glitter gel that doesn't have like too much of a scent a little bit a little bit not even as much as the sunscreeny scents on the um, other stuff okay so that is that one there's also a little pink one in here all right next up so there's two sprays we're almost we're almost done we're almost done there's two sprays in here this is a pick-me-up face mist um need a pick me up this super hydrating formula is fortified with antioxidant rich blueberry and acai berry fruit extract to brighten smooth and soothe skin for a dewy healthy glow okay um i'm gonna smell that before i spray it on my face <laughs> This just reminds me of um, like a Victoria's Secret body mist from back in the day, like in the 90s, like late 90s. It does smell kind of fruity. I think because I have this other setting spray that I will show you, I might not spray that on my face right now. Yeah, this is a setting spray, Get Through the Night, lavender scented. Okay, well, hmm. <laughs> Let's smell that first. Yeah. It's kind of a synthetic lavender smell, I think. I, kind of, I like the smell of lavender. Is that going to be too much? Oh gosh. Well, I can always just take a shower if this is terrible. I can't believe I'm doing this. Am I doing this? I'm gonna wuss out on that. <laughs> I can't do it. It's too strong. Um, 
this one I think I can handle. We'll do this one instead. We'll just do a little dewy pick me up just to test out this brayer. Actually, yeah, that mist was not bad. Yeah, that one is a pretty gentle um, smell. Okay, now that I, now I will be, I am done being a drama queen. Okay, two more things to talk about. This is the resting bare face. <laughs> that is hilarious. This is a makeup cleanser. So it looks like a cleansing balm. I think this is super cute. Whoa. Oh. Nope. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope. Okay. That smells like that coconut smell that they put in. I'm going to go wash that off. I definitely feel like the kind of combination of all of these smells are definitely just like childhood. Yeah, it's just this sort of like sweet chemical-y smell <laughs> when it's all mixed together. Um, some of them I don't mind as much. There were some that definitely, like that cleanser. Whew. Next and last, we have these. Oh, they're so cute. I actually love this packaging. There are lip glosses. Oh, they're hard to get out. Um, and these are so cute. Look at that. They're so cute. All right, so those are the lip glosses. And let me see. So this one looks like it has the most color in it. This has like a sweet cakey smell. That's actually kind of cute. Huh. All of these smells are getting a little mixed up now. Um, so I can't quite tell what I think about that. But oh my goodness, like, how is this so cute? This is really pretty. Huh, well I was not expecting that. Not expecting that at all. Well, let's swatch these here. I'll put this one on on top of it. It's just like a kind of clear glitter. This one smells a little stronger. Interesting. I wonder if they have like different flavors. Um, that's super, these are pretty. What? I mean, I shouldn't be surprised. Wet n Wild actually has some really good products. Um, I don't use them very often, but they do a good job sometimes. Look at that. It's super pretty. It's super comfortable. It's not particularly sticky. Um, that's nice. That's super nice. These are fun. These really remind me of being a little kid. But those are the, wow, you can barely see. So there are the two in the center are the ones with the, the color and then the ones on either side are the ones with the sparkle. And those are a little hard to see. There we go. So that's, that's that. Oh, there's one more thing. One more thing. It's the Care Bears Wet n Wild Mascara. It has a chemical smell. The wand. The wand feels, feels a little cheap. But let's, let's see. I think it would have been fun to have like colored mascaras for this. I have pretty thick, long lashes, so mascara is not a huge, um, like, how do I say this? Like, usually, I mean, there are some that I like more than others. This actually is pretty decent, but like I said, I have pretty good lashes um, anyway, so... Um, really it put down like color on them. I think more than anything else. I don't know that it gave them very much volume, but you can see, I mean, the difference between not having it and having it on. So not bad. 
it's certainly not my favorite. It's a very thin formula. I think I like something a little thicker. Um, and the wand does definitely feel cheap. Okay, well that was, this is my face of Care Bears and Wit n Wild. Um, this was fun. It's exactly what I, actually, this is better than I expected. And I have way too many smells around me right now. <laughs> like, this is, it's too much. It's too much. The smells, the smells are, they're like subtle but pervasive, if that makes sense. It's like, they're there. And they're all competing with each other. And it's a bit much. It's a bit much. But um, I digress. The, the lip scrub I, I kind of like. And I really, um, I really liked the blush and the highlighter. I thought these were really pretty. And then these lip glosses are kind of a win. Uh, they're a little bit, um, you know, they have a scent that's sweet and a little bit cloying. That's the thing. These these scents are sweet and cloying. Um, and then that like sunscreen smell. That's the only thing with these. They smell like that sunscreen. I would like them better if they didn't have fragrance in them. These are cute. And I actually liked that they didn't smell that much. These are the glitter gels. Um, I don't like the sponge. This is worthless in my opinion. <laughs> um, this, I kind of like. I mean, I, d I don't, I don't know. Um, I kind of want to try this more and see, and see how it goes. Like I said, the scent on this was not bad at all. This was one of them that I actually didn't mind the smell of. Yeah, because it's very citrusy. Um, yeah, it kind of smells like margarita mix. And then, um, this is super cute. I actually think, um, this is not bad. This is not bad. It didn't go on clumpy. It was like actually very easy to work with. My bottom lashes tend to like be very extra. Um, and sometimes I don't want that intense look, but I want a little bit on there. And I feel like I was able to do that with this. It was pretty easy to work with. Um, didn't take long. The eyeshadow palette. I mean, I think this would be fun for a little kid. I think, you know, for somebody really young, who wants to play with makeup. This is actually, you know, the formulas, they were not bad at all. Like I'm, I'm pretty amazed um, at how well they worked. I was not expecting that. And like, there wasn't even a lot of kick up or anything. I had some fallout, but I don't know. It wasn't, wasn't that bad. Um, the only thing is with the glitter, I don't know if you're going to want a kid to be putting this on their eyes. So, I don't know. Again, it's very gimmicky. It's fun. Would I recommend it? <laughs> Actually, this, these, these if you are not sensitive to smells, and like the glitter gels, yes. Yes. And actually... I mean, if you like the Care Bears, this was not bad. Not bad. Um, I don't know. I feel like this might be for a little deeper skin tone. But maybe, maybe, you know. Actually, you know what? That is not bad. Is that it? Oh, and I did not like the smell of the makeup remover. That is going elsewhere. Oh, and the sprays. Um, Yeah, I didn't love the smell of those. Mmm. Obviously, I didn't try the setting spray, but the smell was pretty strong. Like, strong enough that I was too afraid to spray it on myself, so. So, there's that. Um, okay. So, I'm going to sign off. That's that's all I got. Um, this, I've been recording for an hour and 45 minutes. <laughs> Hopefully, this video is not longer than a half an hour. Fingers crossed. Okay. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Let me know if you have nostalgia for the Care Bears. I really do. Obviously, I bought this set of Care Bear themed um, makeup that smells like little kid perfume and chemicals, but I had fun. I really had fun. And there were some, there were actually some, some pretty good winners in here. Um, these lip glosses are pretty. They're nice. Anyways, thank you so much for being here. I'm going to sign off. I'm going to stop talking. 
I hope you're having an awesome day. If you liked this video, I'd love it if you'd give it a thumbs up. And if you would subscribe, that would make me so happy. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.